that there are different proposals uh, from the Commission as well as from the government to revamp the uh, MPSC and to improve uh, issues like uh, improvement of the overall uh, use of technology and uh, even uh, a proposal to conduct common tests, common examinations for all posts which have the same qualification and the same pay scale in order to avoid multiple examinations is also being examined, sir. At the same time, having more examination centers throughout the state is also being examined. And uh, there's also uh, um, uh, you know, an advice to the government uh, by the commission also to have clubbing of uh, posts uh, by bringing a Meghalaya combined competitive exam rules. So these are different uh, areas where uh, these reforms are being examined. Uh, we have not taken a final call because this requires a lot of uh, threadbare discussion and, uh, uh, and also obviously concerns from all over. So all those areas are there, sir, but uh, point is noted and uh, this is an important issue. And uh, I can assure the member that we are working uh, on ensuring that this time frame that is there uh, to ensure that the examinations and interviews are conducted uh, in a much more shorter time. So in the last two to three years, uh, we had uh, certain challenges and MPSC of course also had those challenges. Number one being the COVID uh, pandemic in itself and that had really uh, taken things uh, you know, off track in one way for the MPSC and conducting of exams and interviews became a big challenge for the MPSC at that point in time. And hence uh, we saw that uh, in the last two to three years, especially during the COVID time, we saw uh, the vacancies could not be filled because, as I said, of the COVID reasons. Second, sir, also because of the fact that um, recently there was a court ruling on implementation of the roster system. And hence, uh, every department has been asked to uh, comply with the roster system. And when they do, they can go ahead with all the concerned uh, recruitment processes and uh, inform the respective uh, recruitment agency. Uh, in this case, the MPSC, to go ahead. And uh, I will not have the exact information regarding the enforcement, uh, because there are, of course, few of them that are going on right now. I have the names, but the enforcement is not there in that. So, um, sir, I'll take a note of what the Honorable Member has mentioned. And um, I presume, sir, I would not like to mislead the House, that uh, there could be a delay because of the uh, roster not being implemented there yet. Uh, but I will find out, sir, and I will definitely inform the honourable member separately, sir. The process has started, and uh, our endeavour is to do it at the earliest. And uh, in fact, uh, just so that uh, uh, the members will realise and understand also how serious we are about this, uh, about this issue, is that even in the last two cabinet meetings we had, uh, the issue of, uh, in, sorry, last to last cabinet, I'm sorry, we had the discussion on uh, the common... Uh, uh, conducting common examinations for posts uh, which have same qualifications and are in the same pay scale. And this may look like a very small thing, but what happens, it saves the time of calling multiple examinations uh, for the same similar posts that are there for which have a similar qualification and, and the same pay scale. Therefore, small steps like these, uh, but they require a lot of uh, due diligence to be done because the different processes of the different departments, the rules have to be followed. So all these aspects need to be examined uh, so that there is no contradiction in the future and nobody then goes to court and uh, comes out with some kind of a court case against the MPSC. So this due diligence is going on. We went through this process. We uh, debated it in the, uh, in the cabinet and then we sent it back uh, to the uh, department to examine this again and then bring it back after the reforms and the changes that we had proposed in that after the discussion. So my, my reply, sir, very simple, is that it is a process. Um, we cannot say that it will be done in a day or two or months because it has to be done well. But uh, we realize the uh, urgency of uh, making these reforms. And I can assure the House that we are going to move on it at the earliest we are moving. And uh, we are going to uh, come up with some of the reforms very shortly. And uh, it may take us some time to implement all of it, but the, the process is on and the government is very much committed to bringing these reforms in the MPSC, sir.